Hello everyone, in the previous episode we implemented Firebase authentication with email and password. You can find the link to that video in the description below. Today we will learn how to implement Google sign-in using Firebase in Flutter, so let's get started. In the authentication section click on the sign-in method tab. Next click add new provider, select Google and toggle it to enable. After enabling the Google provider, Download the Google Service InfoPelis file. This file now includes a new key named Reversed Client ID. Now let's update our project with the new Google Service InfoPelis file. Open the iOS folder, navigate to the runner folder, and replace the existing file. To implement Google Sign In, we will need to install the Google Sign In package. Copy the command flutter pub add Google Sign In. Let's go back to our project and install Google Sign-In package. To configure Google Sign-In for iOS, we need to add some keys. Let's go back to our project and copy the new keys in the InfoPelis file. Finally, replace the iOS client ID and reverse the iOS client ID in the InfoPelis file with the values from the Google service InfoPelis file. With the configuration done, we can start implementing Google Sign In. First, let's define a function named Sign In with Google that returns an optional user in our repository. Next, implement the Sign In with Google method in Firebase our repository. Create an instance of Google Sign In class and call the Sign In method to initiate the Google Sign In process. This method returns an optional Google Sign In account. If it's null, it means that the user can select the sign-in process. Retrieve the authentication details and store the result in Google Out. Create a Firebase credential using the authentication details and use this credential to sign in with Firebase. Create a user variable to store the user from user credential user. If the user is null, draw an exception. If the user is not null, return the user. Grab the code inside a try cache block to handle exceptions. And finally, create a function named Google Sign In in App Service. The return value could be either a failure or an optional user. We are ready to implement the sign in with Google. Go to the on Google preset function, call the sign in with Google method, and store the result. This variable will store either a failure or an optional user. Use fold to handle both cases. In case of failure, display a snack bar showing a failure message. In case of success, if user is null, return. If user is not null, display a success snack bar and redirect the user to the home page. Now let's test the implementation. Click on the Google icon, then click continue, and sign in with your email and password. Finally, let's go to the Firebase console and navigate to the authentication section. You should see the new user created. Let me know in the comments which other topics you would like to see in the future videos. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next time.